driving to a new location, which has been voted one of the most haunted forests in the UK, with several reports of ghost sightings each year, and a long history of London's underworld of crime, with some reporting that even the Cray twins could have left bodies in this forest. And that forest, of course, is Epping Forest. So I've just come to a place called Loughton Camp. Now this is featured on a TV programme called Most Haunted. Um, and it said that this part of the forest has the most paranormal activity out of anywhere else. Ah. Uh. No. It's so muddy, I'm sinking. Ugh. This used to be an old tribal army base and it said that hundreds of soldiers were left here dead. So maybe that's what haunts it. Who knows? I don't know if I got that on camera, but a massive log just fell out of a tree. Pissing some ghosts off. You know what, like, I don't really believe in ghosts and stuff. I know this forest is empty and I've been staying in the other forest, but I've drove down to this Epping forest and I really feel a tension of like, I don't know, you're like, like you're being watched. That sounds weird and it sounds like you're saying stuff. I know all these people say that sort of stuff for YouTube, but there is a weird tenseness about this forest. It does, there's a lot of noises going on and there's a lot of like wood breaking. As, I, as I've been filming, I've just felt like there's someone like watching behind me. Or I just feel like I'm being watched, being filmed, which I hate, you know, I hate that. That's why I like to do my film videos in the forest. But here, I've just felt like I've been watched the whole time. It is pretty eerie. It's pretty, it has creeped me out a little bit, to be fair. Hmm, interesting. The sun is rapidly dropping. So I'll soon be in total darkness. I've got myself a little head top so I can see my way around, but. I'm not going to lie, it's getting pretty scary. <laughs> oh, mate. <laughs> I've got this bloody torch in my eye. I can't see where I'm going. I can't remember where I went. I don't know where I parked the van. Uh, I mean, the forest normally looks all the same anyway, but at night time, it, it all just looks the same. See the road. I found the road. After returning to the van, I checked Google Maps to see where I could spend the night. And there seemed to be a small church not too far from where I was, so I decided to go check it out.
So I'm at the church and there is literally a graveyard opposite me on Halloween. Wow, okay, cool. <laughs> I have the greatest ideas sometimes. Um, but it is pitch black, so I doubt I'm going to be able to pick up anything on the camera. No, I can't get any footage of the church. It's too, um, it's all too dark. So I'm going to try and move my van and get the headlights on it. But yeah, this is where I'll be sleeping tonight. Let's hope nothing spooky happens. <sighs> no, unfortunately it's too dark and I just can't get a shot. So I'm going to turn in for the night. Um, and what I'll do is I'll wake up really early in the morning and I'll have a little walk around the graveyard and uh, show where I am. Because uh, it's a nice church, it is a nice church, but unfortunately there's just no lights around here. My torch is not strong enough to, um, uh, to show anything on the camera. So I've survived the night. Um, it wasn't the best sleep I've ever had. Um, that's probably down to uh, overactive imagination. <laughs> Every little noise I heard, I was like, what's that, what's that? <laughs> but um, yeah, no, this is a great location. I didn't know there was an actual church in the middle of Epping Forest. I mean, you were quite literally in the middle of the forest. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here for. I think it's still an active church, so I don't know if anyone's going to be around this Monday morning, but I don't want to get a caretaker knocking on my van, so I might skedaddle soon. Ooh. Oh, well it looks like someone's home. So, maybe I won't hang around for too long. They'll start inviting me into the church and trying to convert me or something. Anyway, I think if I step into a church, I'm going to burst into flames anyway. Yeah, and just like that, the rain comes in. So, that is the end of the Halloween adventure. Oh. Right, I'm going to head back to the forest that I've been staying in. Um, nothing against Epping Forest, but it's a little bit too scary for me. Um, staying here last night wasn't too bad. Um, like I said, there was a few noises. It must have been like a deer. Um, I saw some deers here last night, so maybe they were sort of like running around the forest. So there was a few like uh, twigs snapping and things like that. So it made me a little bit jumpy. But it was nothing compared to that Loughton Camp one. Um, now I'm not saying it was haunted, but it was definitely a lot more eerie and I had that feeling like I was being watched. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I'm going to get the heck out of here.